for Christmas is you, you baby. All right, whatever. Same. This is my good lady Capri. I wanted to introduce you to her because she's going to help me today making my rolls. Rolling. This is the time of the year where rolls are an integral part of holiday festivities and, and dinners and food. And leftovers. And, and, yes. and next day leftovers. So I was requested that I do my roll recipe in my vlog. And so today Capri is going to help me with that. So I wanted to introduce you to her and we're going to have fun and get into it. So happy holiday season's greeting. Christmas is almost here. Yay! Capri and I are now going to prep our ingredients. So we're going to measure, we'll scramble the eggs, we'll pour out the milk, etc. just to get ready to start with our recipe. Okay, are you ready? The right temperature. So I have an instant thermometer, which I can basically test the water. So this is my like pot, my electric pot. So I just, I turned it on real quick and I can see that it's at 120. I want it to be between 110 and 120. So it's actually going to 122. So I gotta let it sit for a little bit, gotta let it wait. But once it reaches the right temperature, then we can actually use that water in the recipe. So, so we've got our temperature to 115, which is great, 115 degrees. We're gonna put our two packets of yeast inside the water. So we're gonna let that yeast just do its thing and activate. Now, while we're doing that, we're gonna turn on our stove and put it to high heat with a half a cup of milk. We want it to actually be on its highest setting because we want it to scald. And scold. just when it scalds scold. is we're gonna take it out and we're gonna put it in our mixer. <laughs> okay. So let me just get our mixer ready while we're doing that. So once it's scalding, almost there, and how you know it's like it'll start bubbling up on the edges and start to rise. It's ready to go in. It's getting hot in here. Now we want to put in sugar, salt, and butter. Sugar, butter, and salt. Got it, got it. Sugar, salt, butter. Get in there. Okay. Get it? Got it? It's a hint for my husband. <laughs> now we're gonna pour in our yeast. Yeah. Here we go. Got it in. Okay. Now we're going to put in our eggs. Make sure that's secure. And this is stuff that you need. Yeah. I want you kitchen aid. I want you, baby. <laughs> I know you do. So we're going to put half of the flour in. Not all. You really have to be patient and you really have to just take your time putting in the flour. You'll know when it's time to stop based on the flour pulling away from the bowl. So right now we're still in the mushy phase.
Walking in the window it's, the, it's getting sticky, but, but yet it's still not pulling away. I might end up using the whole four and a half cups, but we'll see. Straight from me when we come. So we sprinkle a little bit of flour. Wrap by Saran. Mm -hmm. And put it right on the stand. <laughs> or in a warm place. And that's going to rise for about 40 minutes an hour. That's it. Ready to come back? Okay. We've risen. This second knead is not going to be too long. You just want to get some of the air out of it, so don't handle it too much. That's a perfect shape a little bit. And then we're gonna use my, a must have. This is a scraper slash cutter. So let's cut it into even fours. Can you do that for me? Cut this in half, equal portions. You can also weigh your dough and calculate how the portions should be and weigh them as you go if you want them to all be perfect sized. All right, all right. now take mine. And we're gonna take it and smooth the outside and tuck it under real quickly, not overwork, pinch it, and you stick it in. Mm -hmm. All right, that's one. <laughs> So now we're going to wrap it. Yummy. Got the plastic on. We're going to let it rise again. Let it rise. It's like one of those facial cloths. What did you get then? Put on your face. The ones right, so that have the facial. Fun facial. <laughs> So now we're gonna put the bun in the we oven. Shall wait. We shall wait. The bun's in the oven. After about a minute, you can remove the rolls from the pan and let them sit on a wire rack so they can cool. 
Thank you guys for hanging with us today. It's been such a special pleasure to have my goddaughter help me out today. I really, really enjoyed this particular ep episode where I was showing her how to make my homemade sweet rolls. So before we go, I just wanted to hand over the mic to her. She has something special to say. Yeah, I couldn't miss this holiday as much as so much is going on in the world right now with the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, and I couldn't miss this special moment with her. You have definitely been my, my stand-in mom since my mom passed away a few years ago. You've been my everything. And I just want to thank you for passing on these recipes to me and these experiences to me. They're really invaluable. Mm. I love you. I love you too. Mm -hmm. So again, from our house to yours, may this Christmas be the most spectacular Christmas that you've ever had. Have a safe and blessed one from our house, the ashes, and the Aswood. God, God bless. bless. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Yeah, we definitely don't want to do that. Mm. It's ready to go in. It's getting hot in here. <laughs> Epic fail. <laughs> In the background, eh? No, you're listening to me again. Ow! All I want for Christmas is just the last part. <laughs> What's the last part? All I want for Christmas is you. Okay, you got it? That's it. Baby. And stop. Okay, okay. 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 <laughs> oh my gosh, you got it. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. All I want for Christmas is you. You, baby. One more time. All the life One more time. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. And cut. <laughs>